On this channel, I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. Anyways, today I'm going to give you some great Hornets basketball plays. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so this first play is up against a man-to-man -man defense. So first what we're going to have is player one. He's going to dribble out to his towards his right side. Now this could be ran on the left side as well. And he's going to do a dribble handoff with player four. Of course, a dribble handoff is you hand off the ball and player one screens. Player four is going to use that. Of course, he could take that shot. That's always an option. However, player one is then going to clear out. This could have been a switch or it might not have been a switch. It doesn't matter. We're then going to have player five. He's going to be coming out and using player four as a screen. This is going to be another dribble handoff. And what we're going to have now is player five is going to curl around. He can either drive towards the rim. He can spot up for the shot if he's got a good shot. Or what we can have is player four rolling off of that screen and player four might be open cutting towards the rim. Now if this is the case and he's able to get that ball, this could collapse those lower two players defenders. And if that's the case, we could have these two guys open for a mid-range or three-point shot. Now this next play again could be ran on the right or left side. We're going up against a man-to-man -man defense once again. We're going to have player 4 clear out towards the 3-point line. We're going to have player 5 setting a screen for player 3. Player 3 is going to use that screen and player 1 is then going to be dribbling over towards that direction. And this is going to be a dribble handoff. So if player 3 red was able to fight through the screen, player 5 is going to then pop. And we're going to have player 3 now using that screen. He could drive right towards the rim. He could spot up for the shot as well. And he may also have the option, depending on if he gets switched or not, it doesn't matter. Player 1 could then be also rolling towards the basket, again for a layup. Or this could collapse the defense, again for mid-range or 3-point shots from those two players. Now the 1-3-1 one, one zone defense apparently is becoming very popular in the high school level down in the states. So I, I better give you this play. This is a fantastic basketball play. What we are going to have is player 1. He is going to do a dribble handoff with player 5. At this time player 5 is going to dribble the ball over towards this left side which is now going to be having a possible double team from player two and one we're going to have now player four setting a screen down on player five and player five blue is now going to be able to pass over to player two who could take a shot anywhere in that area and he should be wide open they're going to there's going to be player two and four scrambling and player five trying to fight around player four but he will be able to get off that shot this is a nice quick easy play against the one three one because if you don't already know these corners are a weak spot for the one three one in my opinion if you were to load the side a triangle offense also does really well against the one three one now against the two three zone this is another great play that you could run we can now have player 4 set a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen and now player 4 is going to be popping up. We're going to be having player 4 clearing out towards this left side. So he's going to be rolling off of that screen and this is going to be a dribble handoff with player 1 and player 2. Now the idea behind this play is even though this is a dribble, ha a dribble handoff happening, player 4 could also be wide open because if player 5 is really paying attention to what's happening over here and not paying attention to player four, player one could just stop the dribble handoff right away, pass over to player four for the layup. However, I will continue this play. Player two is gonna get that ball. He's gonna going to then dri dribble all the way around the three point line. He's gonna be having player five set a screen for player two. Player four is now gonna be popping out or staying in this mid range area. The reason is, Player 2 is going to be using Player 5 as a screen, and he's going to be now cutting towards the rim, which is going to collapse Player 3 and Player 5. Now, Player 4, right if he's smart, he's going to be covering Player 4 blue, but there's not going to be anyone covering the baseline along this right side, which is now going to leave Player 3 open for a 3-point shot, a mid-range shot, or a layup. Now, the reason why I'm keeping player 4 here is if player 3 was blue was to get the ball and these two players really came up high on player 2, player 4 red is going to go and play help because obviously the main goal of a 2-3 is to stop everything here so that now player 3 can just pass out to player 4 blue for a mid-range shot. This is kind of a, if you play Call of Duty, this is called camping. 
That last play also does work really well against the 3-2 zone. However, I'm going to show you another play that you're probably really going to like. We're going to have player 5 setting a screen for player 1. And now player 1 is going to do a dribble handoff with player 2. Player 5 is going to be rolling towards the basket and player 4 is going to be popping out. The reason for this is now once player 2 gets that ball, he's going to be pounding it inside the player 5, which will collapse the lower two players. And now it could even collapse player 2 right a little bit in and player 3 a little bit in. And now what we're going to have is player 3 cutting back door along the baseline for a nice easy layup. I hope that these basketball plays help your team. If they do, let us know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys again later on today for our second video of the day.